Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about YNR Slugger T. Now, YNR Slugger T, there's a rumor about him having it tough in jail. Like he's really going through it, man. Now, nobody's confirmed this yet. And they said his mom put up a post on social media, but took it down. But it's looking like he might have ran into the ops while being locked up, man. Now, on top of talking about YNR Slugger T, we're going to be talking about this NBA Lil Pap situation. Now, NBA Lil Pap is accused of the 2017 murder of none other than G Money from TBG in Baton Rouge. Now, it looks like he was brought into court and he had to put in his plea and this joker pleaded not guilty. So I guess he's feeling like he could take this case on, fight it, and win. But it was a lot of details in this that still don't look good for NBA Little Pat, man. And they've got a lot of information based on a lot of the stories that are out there. Now, before we get into what's going on with Slugger T, and before we get into what's going on with NBA Little Pat, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about YNR Slugger T. So it looks like YNR Slugger T might have had a situation in jail. Now, the rumor online and the rumor in the streets is that YNR Slugger T got stabbed up. Now, I'm not saying that this is factual and this actually happened, but that is the rumor that's running wild. Now, for those of you who don't know, Slugger T was involved in Operation Wrap Up. Now, Operation Wrap Up took a lot of folks out of the YNR camp down. YNR Mookie, YNR Slugger T, but you know, there were some conflicting reports saying that a lot of the, the charges that they were given were thrown out. Now, Operation Wrap Up was just this whole big operation where they were going to get rappers who were dropping music videos, flashing guns, and throwing signs, you know, gang signs and whatnot in their videos, and dissing ops. Slugger T got caught up in all that, and ever since then, his name has been in the headlines. Now, recently, we were talking about YNR Mookie, who his lawyer released a statement this week talking about all the things that he was accused of and that he didn't have anything to do with it, that he was just a rapper, and that was it. And it seems like Slugger T was going down that same path, man. Like he was just putting it out there on his social media when he could that, yo, he'll be home soon. You know, they ain't really got nothing on him because he's just a rapper. He even took a video phone conference that was like circulating online from jail where people were asking him questions. Like fans were asking Slugger T questions. They were like, well, what's up with Queso? Is he in there? And Everybody said it was all cap. He made it seem like he had ran into Queso and it ran, him, ran him up out of the block or whatever. But man, people came back and said that was all cap and wasn't true. But it seemed like YNR Slugger T was handling his business. And like he had nothing to worry about while being locked up. But, it's, but based on the rumor that came out this morning, or I should say last night, this seems like, man, somebody ran up to him and stabbed him, man. I don't know why in the world this would happen. I don't know who he was into it with, but you got to remember, jail is jail. So anything can happen, man. Just because you might not have beef with these folks on the street doesn't mean you can't run into an issue in jail over something simple, man. We've all watched these jail TV shows where they show people getting stabbed up just for snack cakes and cookies and stuff like that, man. So it could be anything. Now, with that, this is a rumor. So don't take this verbatim. And it doesn't mean that YNR Slugger T is on his deathbed, because that's also a rumor, right? A lot of people were saying that he passed. So that would be really crazy. Now, they even went to showing his mom's page on social media. I'm not going to put it up there. But they said that she had posted a picture of him earlier, but took it down. So it's confusing, and people don't know what's going on. But a lot of people believe and are running with the rumor that he got stabbed up. So if that's true, man, hopefully a speedy recovery for YNR Slugger T. And man, hopefully he gets better and his situation gets better with that. You know what I mean? Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man, and I know you're enjoying this video, but make sure you go and you follow me on social media platforms like Instagram, and also go to my Twitter page and make sure you hit that follow button there so you can get the latest and greatest updates of when I'm dropping my videos. And man, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button so we can spread this video around, and we're trying to get 2,000 likes, so run them likes up. All right.
Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this NBA Lil Pep situation. Now, NBA Lil Pep is an alleged associate of none other than NBA Youngboy, the superstar rapper who's currently jailed on some weapons charges on the federal level, right? Now, what NBA Lil Pep is being accused of, or I should call him his real name, which is DeAndre Fields. He's being accused of and got indicted for the murder of Baton Rouge rapper G Money. Now, G Money was a beloved rapper from TBG, and he was also the best friend of none other than Fredo Bang, man. Now, it looks like NBA Lil Pap didn't have an attorney when he went to jail. I mean, excuse me, when he went to court and asked for an attorney to be appointed to him so he could enter this plea. But, man, it's all spelled out in this report from the advocates. So let's go ahead and read the report. Now, in the headline, it says this. In Baton Rouge rapper G Money's 2017 slam, accused killer pleads not guilty. An associate of Baton Rouge rapper NBA Youngboy pleaded not guilty Thursday in a 2017 slaying of rival local rap artist G Money. DeAndre Fields, who has been free on $250,000 bond since his 2019 arrest, told the 19th Judicial District Commissioner Kenneth Kimball that he's been trying to hire a lawyer since his January indictment on second-degree murder. Now, we'll stop there. Now, it looks like he's trying to get a lawyer, and that was the first thing that he told the judge ever since he's been, you know, he's had this case over his head. I know they were probably like, what, man? You come to court, you don't have no lawyer? But, man, let's continue. So Kimball appointed, now Kimball being the judge, appointed the local public defender's office to represent Fields 26. His next court date is August 23rd. Man, everybody's court date is in August, man. You got the Casanova case coming up in August. You've got G Herbo's case coming up in August. And obviously you got NBA Lil Pap's case coming up in August as well. So it continues to say this. It says, Fields is accused of fatally shooting G Money whose real name is Garrett Burton outside of Burton's Dallas Drive Music Studio in Baton Rouge on September 10th, 2017. Burton, 22, performed with the TB, with TBG group. NBA Youngboy, whose real name is Kentrell Galden, founded the NBA group. The two rap groups des described by East Baton Rouge Parish authorities as gangs has been feuding for years. Stop right there. Remember that every time they associate TBG and NBA with a gang, this is not good for either one of those crews, man. Because with the NBA Youngboy situation, they can make things worse for him because they can say that he was actively, you know, contributing to gang activity or whatnot. And there's been several reports about, you know, the shooting in Miami where they've been following and tracing these guys. There's been stuff that they've uh, released locally there in Baton Rouge in the news about cats looking in, uh, at their involvement as gangs and how they're behaving. So hopefully, man, those cats are smart about what they do and hopefully they're not participating in any gang type activity. Now, the story continues and says this. Field's arrest warrant provided insight into what started the beef between Burton and Galden, saying Burton released a song that contained derogatory lyrics about Golden's sister, Golden responded with the social media post and bad blood escalated from there, the warrant said. Now, for everybody who's been keeping up with everything on the rap side of the game, we knew that, man. Everybody, they, uh, we understood that that's what the catalyst was for this beef. But for that to even be in the warrant, it's telling, man. So it seems like they got a good case against Lil Pat. But I mean, not if they're only basing it off of hearsay or whatnot. But it seems like, man, people have been keeping track of what's going on. Now, they also reference Say Cheese in this. They say, Say Cheese TV, excuse me, they say this. They say, Burton said in an August 2017 interview with the blog Say Cheese TV that Golden got the big head after some success and the two probably would never make music together, in part because of the drama involving Golden's sister. Burton was killed the following month. So he was killed a month after his Say Cheese interview, that famous interview where he talked about the situation with him in NBA Youngboy. Police interviewed Fields three days after Burton's death, and he recalled telling his mother to leave their home because he feared retaliation. He said he left Baton Rouge with his mother 
and son and went to New Roads after Burton was killed. Fields also told detectives he drove to Hammond to get gas on the night of September 10, 2017, according to the warrant. Detectives later obtained Fields' phone records, which showed he was not in Hammond the night of Burton's death, but was actually in Baton Rouge. And so they tracked his phone. I don't know why he even, well, this was in 2017. Even though in 2017, people understood that you could ping cell phone towers and cell phones were tracked. So I don't know why he would tell that. I mean, I understand why he would tell that lie, but come on, man, they're going to be able to figure that out. But let me continue. Now, when police asked Fields who among his friends would shoot people from the NBA group, he replied to be honest me. He also referred to problems in the streets. Fields faces a mandatory sentence of life in prison if convicted as charged in Burton's death. State District Judge Bo Higginbottom is handling the case. Galton's attorney, James Mansa, said that after Fields' indictment, that as far as he knows, there's never been any insinuation that Cantrell had any involvement in that situation. So basically, they're saying that NBA Youngboy had no knowledge of what was going down, that NBA Youngboy wasn't involved, and keep him out of it. Now, Fields himself was shot in April 2020 in Baton Rouge, and local rapper Lit Yoshi, whose real name is Mayoshi Edwards, everybody knows Lit Yoshi, is charged in state court with attempted murder in that shooting. So Lit Yoshi is being charged with shooting uh, DeAndre Fields, a.k.a. Lil Pat. So we understand what's going on with NBA Youngboy and uh, and what he faces. But for NBA Lil Pat, it looks like he's out there on his own without a lawyer, and he's got a hefty case in front of him. Now, he entered a not guilty plea, but I don't know how much weight that's going to carry in the future. Now, what do you guys think? What do you think about YNR Slugger T allegedly getting, sh getting shanked in jail or stabbed up in jail? And what do you think about this NBA Lil Pat not guilty plea. Like, if they have all that information uh, against him, do you think that it would just be smarter to do a plea deal or something like that? Or is he just going about this the right way, trying to fight the case because he know he ain't do it? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.